So I hope everyone is doing well. And um, today's practice, I kind of designed around the quads. So I figured we could utilize the muscles in the front of our legs, but also stretch them out. So it should feel relaxing, it should feel good, and hopefully it will feel like a nice stretch for the top of our thighs, which deserve a little love since we've been giving the hamstrings and shoulders some love in other classes um, that we've been doing. So let's go ahead and start, if you guys don't mind, on your shins for me, please. And then you're going to separate your feet if you want to, move your calf muscles out of the way, and you can sit in between your feet. Now this may be holy moly way too much, so put a block or a pillow under your butt, or don't sit like that at all, and then just join me seated like this, okay? So option to stay here, option to separate your feet, put something under your butt, or nothing under your bottom and just sit. So I want you guys to feel the top of your legs starting to stretch, your quadricep muscles, the pull in the outside of your calf muscles, and then even in the tops of your feet. So either sitting in option one or two, or here with me in option three, with your spine nice and long. So while you're here, please soften the stomach a little bit, just so that you're not trying to push your chest too far forward. Stack your head right over your hips and find your breath. Rest your hands at a heart center and then do your best please to sit up straight. So with a nice long spine, a soft breath, in and out through the nose. Let's close our eyes here. So I want you to think about the front of the leg stretching, your ability to be in a pose or not. This is your full Varasana hero's pose that I'm in right now but maybe you're sitting on your heels instead, or maybe you're even on your bottom because bending the knees back like this just isn't available. So listening to your body for three, two, exhale your hands down, and we're all gonna shift forward. And you're just gonna stretch out your right foot, so press back through your calf muscle for me. And then your left foot, so press back through your calf muscle again. Good, exhale, soften. Walk your knees further back, tuck your toes, pull back through the tailbone. Exhale, come all the way forward, untuck your toes. Good, tuck your toes, pull back, press your hips to your heels. So it's kind of like a flowing variation of puppy dog pose to a, a variation of cobra, okay? Exhale, come forward. Drop, untuck, and it's okay if your shoulders are forward here. Last round, tuck those toes, push it back so my booty's elevated, my heart comes down, and then we come forward, we drop the pelvis, we untuck the toes, we're gonna lower all the way down to our stomachs in three, two, exhale, lower. Nice job. From here, you're gonna keep your elbows where they are to the sky, keep your hands where they are. Your chin is down, and by being on our stomachs, we're kind of making our breath stronger here. So it's harder to breathe on our belly. So what you're doing here is encouraging the lungs to work harder, making them stronger. So as we rock side to side, we're working out those quads, but again, we're working on that breath. You're here for three. Two, exhale, sphinx. So soften, bring the chest up, put your forearms down for me, and then roll the belly a little bit side to side, press down through your hips, lift your chest forward. We're gonna bend our back right knee, rotate your left hand towards your right foot, so now it's at a diagonal. Okay, so my left hand, which is currently facing forward, heads turned to the right. My right arm is gonna reach up and around and grab my foot. Now, if you can't grab your foot, you can always loop a strap, or you can just bend your knee and stay here, okay? Otherwise, grab your foot and then pull and kick back with that leg. So you're opening the front of the chest for three. We're gonna turn this into a quad stretch in two. Exhale, pull the heel towards the butt now. Stretch your right quad, three. Try to reach your chest forward, which is why I'm not turning towards you. In two, 
Release the leg, release the right arm. Inhale, plant the left hand, look up with the heart. Good, switch sides. So take your right fingertips to your left hand, bend your back knee. Now one side may be available to grab, one side not, so I reach up and around, grab the inside of the foot, so my thumb is touching the back of my big toe, and then I pull my chest forward. Now first, kick, pull back. So activate the quad, activate the leg. Three, chest is forward. Two, now soften the leg, pull the heel in towards the butt. Good, so we went from active stretch, excuse me, active work to an active stretch. Three, two, release, left forearm, right forearm returns, chest is up. Good, lay flat, child's pose, hips to heels. Stretch back through here, hips to heels, forehead down, find your breath. Exhale, move into hands and knees. Good, wag your hips left and right, please, side to side. Curl your toes, lift your butt to the sky, downward facing dog. Take your time, make sure both hands are rooted, both knees are soft. Please inhale your right leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. So now we're pressing evenly into both hands. Our right thigh is lifting towards the sky and we're breathing three, two, left hamstring, yes, it's active. Now we straighten the right leg, close it, step forward. Good, now stay here in your lunge for a moment, breathe, and then let's put the back knee down. Go ahead and bend the back knee, heel to butt, and then bring yourself up with a bent knee. Now, if that's not available, then keep the knee down or the foot down and bring your torso up, okay? So this would be option one. Option two, we bend this knee, we keep the heel tight, and then we come up. Please stay here or put your right hand on your right leg and take your left hand to your left foot. Option to stay or pull the heel in towards the bottom. Good, left quad, wake it up. Three, two, please stay, foot is on the ground or foot is here. Take your right hand inside of your right foot, walk it forward, and now take three more breaths with an even deeper stretch. So you should feel that all the way through the front of the leg. Three, two, let the leg go. Let your hands go. Inhale, chest is up, toe is down. Exhale, back leg lifts up. Now give this front knee a break by bending it for a second. Or excuse me, that would be straightening the leg. And now re-bend the knee and we'll step the left foot up. Good, so take a flat back, spine is long, bottom is out, and then exhale, fold in. Your same right leg is gonna reach up and you're gonna bend your knee and open your hip. Now, put your hands on blocks if the ground is too far from you and press down. Option to stay or take your left hand around and grab your foot. Lift your right thigh higher as you fold over your left leg. Good, so you should feel a little bit like a pretzel and that's normal, three, Press down into the ground with your right hand and your left foot. Maybe your left hand is still on the ground, too. Now unwind, left hand, right foot. Nice, lower it down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bow forward. Good, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, step back to plank. Let's lower down slowly. Press up, up dog or cobra, take your time. And then let's do all that on side two, so pull it back, please. Exhale, ground your feet and soften your knees. Left leg, when you're ready, is gonna reach up into the air. Keep the even weight in your hands. Right knee is bent. 
Bend your left knee, guys. Open your hips. So reach your left thigh up, up, up. And then feel the energy of this leg lifting towards the sky. Good. Feel that nice pull in the front quad. Inhale, straighten. Close. Exhale, step forward. Pause. When ready, we lower the knee. Good. Option one, if you're going to bring your hands to your hips with your back knee down. Option two, we're going to bend our back knee, pull our heel to our butt, and bring our hands to our hips. So choose option one or two. Join me here. And then if you want, this left hand's going to press into your left thigh as your right arm reaches around. And you're going to very gently grab your right foot. Good. You can pull the heel in. You can just gently hold it. But again, my torso is trying to face forward versus turn open to the right. You're here for three. Two. You're staying here. You're not moving. Or the left hand is going to come forward of the left foot inside of the leg. And then you're going to pull this heel in tighter. So by putting your hand on the ground, you have more stability, a little bit more room to hug this heel to your butt on the right. Everyone, our last two breaths. So breathe in through the nose, breathe out. And softly put your leg down. Woo, bring your foot. Exhale, pick up your right kneecap and straighten both legs. Exhale, fold. Good. Bend your left knee. Gently step up, feet together. Halfway lift your spine into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Now we're going to inhale the left leg up, which we did before. Bend the knee and open the hip. So right knee is soft. I still want you to push into your hands. So again, put your hands on props or press straight down. Stay here. Take your right hand around and grab your foot. We're going to lift the thigh up. We're going to bow over this right leg. Notice your energy. Three. Saying hello to your quads, waking them up to release your palms, please. Straighten your leg, close your hips, exhale. Whew. Legs together, blow out a big candle. <sighs> Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, dancer pose. So you're going to release your right hand down to the ground, okay? I'll pivot towards you so you can see this side. I'm going to let my heel slide to my bottom. My left arm is in the air. I'm going to grab the inside of my foot. So don't pull your foot away from you. Squeeze together. From there, as you kick your foot into your hand, you're tilting your torso slightly forward which is causing this quad to work and stretch as this left knee bends a little bit, okay? So this pose is really hard to do, but try to find the bounce. I'm gonna hug in, reach up, and move slowly. Three, it's okay if you fall out of it. Two, and return. Good. Let's do side two. I'll turn so you can see me on side two. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, left arm behind you. Feed the foot into the palm. Knees together. Kick, lift, stretch. Again, I'm hugging my inner thighs together so that I'm not forcing this leg out to the side. Three, Two, one more breath, soften, release. Now, a simple quad stretch. You're going to take your right foot, just rotating so it's easier to see me, pulling the heel to the bottom, pulling the right hand to the foot. 
stay there or take this left hand around, pull on the top of the foot a little bit, knees together. Now you may or may not feel this stretch depending on how tight your quads are or how open they may feel. Three, left knee is soft and if it's hard to grab your foot again, we use the strap. Two, good, rest and release and switch sides please. Left heel to butt, pull it in. Knees are together, so don't let that knee hang out. Hug it in. Right hand joins, if it can. Chest is open, and then again, we drive the heel as tightly into the bottom as we can, and you may or may not feel this depending on your tightness. Three, two, relax your leg. Good, raise your arms up, and then fold forward, please. Good, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, deepen your pose. Step back to plank, and we're gonna lower all the way down to our stomachs. Good, untuck your toes, inhale, cobra. Go right into sphinx, right arm, left arm. Good, repeating the quad stretch from the beginning, slash back bend, left hand slides towards right thumb. Wiggle the hips back a little bit, press down through the pelvis. Right arm reaches up and around so we can find our foot. And then we kick our foot into our hand and we stay here or watch my left palm. I'm gonna press to bring my torso up and then this left leg can lift. Three, we're staying here. Two, just take one more breath for me. Put your forearm down, put your left foot down and now we focus on the stretch versus the work. Three, two, you got it. Release the leg and the right palm. Send the left forearm back into place. And again, I know that's hard guys, so stay with it and do as much as you can. Go ahead and bend those knees, rock your hips, and let that go. Good, release your feet please. Exhale, right hand, left foot, or excuse me, right hand, left thumb. Bend, reach around, pull myself back to center. Kick and lift, press, right leg lifts. If you want, hold, three. Reaching, two, come on guys, lift and open. We stay in this pose, one more breath together. And then we put our forearm down if it's up, we lower our right foot if it's up, and then we slide this left heel to our tailbone. Good, working on that quad stretch, letting it become more dominant for three, two, and release. Exhale your left forearm down and your right. Inhale, pelvis presses, heart comes forward. Exhale, lay flat, elbows wide, put your head down. And then you're just gonna bend one knee. You're gonna let that one foot go side to side. Good, put it down, turn your head. Side two, please, just bend one knee. Good, versus everything working together. Now softly put it down. You can press to hands and knees or firm your legs and press to plank. We're all gonna move to downward facing dog. Exhale, breathe out of your mouth here. <sighs> Good job, everyone. Take your time, raise your right leg up. Bend your knee, roll your hip open again. Right thigh is reaching up. Good, straighten your leg, close your hip. Exhale, right foot steps forward in between your hands. Pause. Lift your chest forward. Again, we lower the back knee. Now, if option one, we keep the leg on the ground and we bring the torso up. This still stretches out your quad, just gets a little bit into the hip flexor too. Option, we bend our back knee. Right hand, right leg, left arm comes up and around. Good, option to take this further, you're gonna take this foot to the crease of your elbow. And you're gonna hold your shin. You can raise your top arm up. 
Wherever you are, let's inhale through the nose and exhale through your nose. Two more. Last one. Nice, exhale, release the leg. Whew. Bring your hands down and again, we pick up the knee and we pull back through the hips, giving them a little break. Exhale, step forward into that gas. You're gonna slowly step back to plank. This time, full vinyasa, lower, press up, and then please raise your hips back. Exhale, breathe out. Left leg is gonna reach up. Bend your knee, open your hip again, stretch. Straighten, close, exhale, step forward. Right knee to ground, hands to hips, option one. Option two, bend your knee, hands to hips. Option three, bend your knee, left hand to thigh, right hand to foot. Option four, we walk the foot to the elbow and we raise this left arm up. So my right hand is holding my right shin. And this is tough, this is not easy, this is hard, and this is a lot. Two, we have one more breath. Release very gently, both hands to earth, Curl the toes, lift your knee, and then again, we exhale, straighten, please. Good, bend, exhale, plank. Chaturanga, which is where we firm the quads to lower. We press through the quads and the knees to come up. Feet are active, we lift up and back. And we breathe out. Put your knees down on the ground, please. Bring your hands to your hips. So you're gonna stack your head right over your hips, okay? Now, Frankenstein arms, reach your arms forward. Toes can be tucked, option one, untucked, option two. All right? Now, firm your core. Exhale, everything's tight. Hold, 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 three. Hover, two. Come back up. So you should have felt your quads go into town to squeeze and work. Twice more, arms forward. Exhale, firm your butt, tone it up right here. Hold as far back as you can without falling or back bending and then press. Good, come back up one more time. Take a deep breath in. Stay with me, exhale, let's do this. Firm up those legs, make them strong. Three, two, exhale, come back up, up, up. Good, bring your hands forward, guys. Take your hips and press them side to side. You should have built some nice heat in those legs. Good, and then we're gonna kind of move back into the pose we started in. So option one, sit on your heels, stretch your legs, feel free to put something under your butt. Option two, split your feet, slide your calves away, have a seat. Nice, heart is reaching up. Press down, engage your core. Three, nice, stretch of those legs. If you want more and you're all the way on that booty, you can kind of sink it down more and even come to your forearms. Good. Stay for three, two. When you're ready, guys, press back up. Exhale, come forward. We curl those toes for one more down dog so that we can stretch the opposing muscles. Take your heels, please push them down into the ground as hard as you can, lengthening the body. Three, 
two, exhale as you step forward, we'll have a seat. Good. Now, from here, I just want you to allow your ankles to cross one in front of the other. Inhale, exhale, twist right. Good, inhale, exhale, lean left shoulder to left knee, reach your right arm up. Good, come back into that twist, look over the shoulder. Center, inhale, reach, exhale, twist left. Right shoulder, right knee. Lateral movement, press down through your bottom for me. Come back up, seated twist. Exhale, rotate forward, nice job. Switch your ankles. Take your butt, scoot it back, so literally pick it up. And now bring yourself forward into a variation of a fold. Good, soften the back, three, two, exhale, rise. Please lay on your back to close this practice. Hug your knees to your chest, pull your low back down and then rock from side to side. Good, three, Two, hold your kneecaps, rock, side to side. Three, two, one, and now press your feet up. Point your toes, flex those feet, reach your hands up, grab your feet, happy baby pose. Good, feel the quads kind of soft here, just pulling down towards the ground. You're here for three, two, and one. You'll place your feet wide on your yoga mat. You'll drop your knees to the right so that you feel a pull in your left thigh. You'll take your right ankle on top and you'll pull the thigh down to stretch the quad. Good. Exhale, take one more breath. Release the ankle, hold here. Come back through center, drop your knees left. Left ankle on top, pull the right knee down, quad stretch. Again, you should feel that all the way through the top of this leg, working into the hip flexor, so as even the core. Come back to center by uncrossing and then slowly coming up and then just windshield wiper, right? And left, nice, right? And left. Come back to center, exhale, both legs long. Please raise both arms up, interlace the fingers. Press your arms over your head, point and flex your toes. Please get as long as you can. Tone your legs, tone your quads, and soften them completely. Rest both hands interlaced on top of the belly button and take three breaths. Inhale, breathing in together. Exhale, breathing out together. Twice more, inhale, breathing in. Hold it, exhale, breathing out. One final breath. And let it go. Beautiful job, guys, take your time. With your eyes closed, please come forward to seated. And then we'll end on our shins like we started. Please sit up tall. Please close your eyes. 
Please take a moment for yourself right here. Relax. A whole practice, 30 minutes, dedicated to the quads, stretching out those really strong, probably overused muscles, and hopefully finding a modification today that worked for you. I appreciate you guys practicing, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let's bow forward together. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for practice. If you have, ever have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you later.